Hello everyone, uh, welcome to uh, this session on storefront UI. I'm Swapnil Mane from Hotfix Commerce. In this session, uh, we are going to look at the store, uh, introduction to storefront UI and the Capybara theme. So let's get started. Storefront UI is a UI library dedicated to e-commerce. It is based on Vue.js and is inspired from Google Retail UX Playbook. So, uh, so those who are not uh, aware of the Google uh, UX uh, Playbook for retail, it is basically a document or the uh, guidelines or the best practices collected by Google over the time for defining the UX uh, for the retail. So it includes how your homepage should look like, how your add to cart should look like, and everything uh, related to UX of the e-commerce uh, is defined in this document. So the storefront ui is uh, inspired from this uh, google retail ux playbook and it is made up of uh, vue.js it's made with vue.js and the great thing about it is it's from the ground up it is taken care of the mobile first approach so every component every tiny thing you see in the storefront ui is uh, mobile friendly now let's uh, go to the, our next topic uh, the features it is a 100% customizable uh, storefront UI library. It means you can customize each and everything which you want in this uh, in this uh, library. So taking is a, a single UI component or a complex module, or you want to change the complete uh, whole design, you can do it uh, very easily without any friction. The next, it's free and open source. It means uh, it's it's open to everyone uh, as as. Uh, uh, the way you can want to use it, you can use it's it's completely free of charge. And then the most important part of this library, the feature rates, it is made for e-commerce. So whenever you build an UI library uh, for a particular domain, uh, it, it's always you got the opportunity to include the domain specific uh, components. So in e-commerce, we have like add to cart button, or we generally saw some banners or some cards. So all these are uh, comes in a package in the storefront UI. So uh, since it is dedicated to e-commerce, so you can you can see all the available uh, uh, possible. Uh, you can say the component which you need for your e-commerce site is out of the box available. You are you can simply just use it. And uh, as we say, it's hundred percent customizable. If you feel something to be customized or built up from the ground up, uh, you can also do so. So uh, let's uh, uh, let's go to the, our next topic. Uh, how we can customize it, or what are the level of customization? So uh, in four level, we can customize our storefront UI. Uh, one, uh, if you come from the Vue.js background, you uh, the props and slots uh, and these words are much more familiar to you. So uh, what we can do is uh, we can customize our library. Uh, at the props level also means there are some property which are available to every component uh, maybe for example uh, a disabled property right so you can use uh, that property uh, to set its value to enable or disable a, a, any component or a part of a component uh, so a standard prop based customization is available there then we have the uh, slots customization so every component uh, has a set of slots that let you replace any part of it with your own image, icon, or, or even your custom, uh, custom uh, HTML markup. So there are various slots uh, provided in the component itself, which allows you to replace that whole, com uh, whole part of that particular component. And you can also uh, customize your whole library from uh, a single SCSS file by overriding set of variables. So, uh, so uh, let, let's see uh, it in action. So here is a link play with the storyfront uh, UI on story block. So uh, uh, this is a storybook for a storefront UI. So those who are not aware what a store a storybook is, uh, a storybook is an entirely op another open source project. It is basically the uh, UI component explorer. Uh, it's an open source tool for developing the UI component in isolation for uh, React, Vue, and Angular. 
So you can go to their uh, uh, website and explore more what a story block is. So here is the story block for store storefront UI. So uh, so here you can see uh, all the components which is available in the storefront UI are, are listed here. So before that, let's uh, see the uh, the design methodology used for building up the storefront UI. So uh, atomic design methodology is followed in uh, building a storefront UI library. What this means? That means uh, we have defined small atoms. From that atoms, the molecules are built. And from that molecules, uh, you can build your or organisms and then template and the pages. So you can see a live example here. Here, uh, we can, uh, everything, uh, the, the most tiny item of this library is atom. With atoms, you can build your own molecules. I mean, the combination of atoms, the way you want, you can build your own molecules. And with, with that molecules, a new organism can be made. And then we have a defined template using this organism. And then that template can be turned out to be in a live page. So it's a very simple uh, uh, atomic design methodology which is followed. So let's look at the... Uh, uh, story book of this different UI. So you can see we are here having, okay, so we got a thing. Uh, okay, let, let me, uh, yeah, let me close it. Sure. Thank you. So, uh, great. Uh, great. So I hope, I hope it's fine now. Great. So let's, uh, let's see the, uh, story book storefront, uh, UI, you can see as we have uh, as we have followed the atomic design methodology. So you can see all the atoms which are available in our storefront UI here. So like we have our uh, uh, atom could be a simply a button, an arrow like this, or or whatever checkbox something like this. With these atoms, we have built molecules. For example, like uh, add to cart button. So what to add to cart button is it's simply having a, a button and then uh, feed for adding the quantity. So what we have done is uh, we take input and the button atoms and make our own molecule, which is add to cart. And then we have our uh, own uh, banner, which could be something like this. So it's banner grid. It's a combination of, you can see uh, some text, some buttons and some other stuff. So organism is a collection of the molecules and then we have our own page. So like our cart page is look something like this. So again, you can see it's uh, built with the uh, our organisms. We combine in them in a certain way and have our pages. So these are all out of the box available to you. And, uh, uh, and, and you can customize the way you want, right? So we had a topic where, where we show you, you can have a change the property of any component and you have a slot option. So let's see, uh, for example, button. Uh, in button, we have a property called disabled, right? So for example, uh, by setting simply this property to true, uh, your, your button will be disabled. So this is one level of customization. And then there are slot kind of things. For example, let me, uh, uh, let me come to uh, these topics where, where where we can customize the slots. So slots are nothing but uh, it's it's basically uh, the block which uh, available uh, to you. Or uh, you can change uh, maybe some part of it, or you can write your own custom uh, CSS or maybe a custom HTML around it. So let's come to the banner. Uh, so this is our banner, right? And we have a subtitle slot here. So uh, what we can do is, uh, for example, I want to change the uh, the whole HTML of this particular subtitle. So what we can do is uh, we can just simply write something like this. Uh, again, I'm not taking it it uh, in too much of detail. We can discuss in our further session, but simply defining your uh, uh, slot property and writing your own custom CS uh, HTML here, you can redefine your slots means uh, the subtitle slot can be entirely, not only changing the content, text content of it, but you can change your whole HTML in it. So this is how you can change, uh, customize your, your component. 
by changing the property or by changing the slot. And yeah, obviously, if, if you want to customize it, uh, uh, overriding your SCSS variable, you can that, uh, do that as well. So, OK. Now come, uh, let's uh, come to the topic where, where you can find the community of storefront UI, where we generally communicate. So uh, before that, let's see uh, the official GitHub repository. It's available here. It's uh, github.com uh, ltd storefront dash UI. So it is basically all the uh, uh, code you can see of storefront UI. And here are some useful links which are available to you. It is having uh, the uh, Google Retail UX playbook link, which I just shared with you. This is the document. Then you can see the website, which we are uh, looking right now. Then there's a documentation available. So if, if you go to here, you can see uh, all the storefront UI characteristics and all the sort of documents which we are available. So all the atoms, molecule, what are their properties, what are their slots, everything is, is available in this document. Uh, then how to contribute, it's give you idea how you can contribute uh, to the open source project. And then we have a storybook. So basically, this is the uh, uh, storybook uh, uh, component explorer for storefront UI. It's link available here. And for the communication purpose, storefront UI uh, community use Discord. So uh, you can, uh, uh, here is a link, you can join our Discord channel. and. Uh, uh, there are various uh, sections available here. So it's very active channel. Man. So if you have any query or would like to contribute something or have some suggestion or inputs, uh, feel free to uh, join us here. And, and majority of community members will be happy uh, to answer your questions. So you can just simply post your query here and, uh, and everything which you would like to discuss. So this is about the uh, community of uh, uh, storefront UI. So uh, what I've done is I just quickly uh, covered the introduction of storefront UI, which was the first agenda of, of the session. Now I'm moving towards the Capybara theme. So if you have any questions, uh, uh, please feel free to ask. Uh, and if not, we will move to the Capybara theme uh, introduction. So uh, are, we, are we good to move to the next topic? Great, so good. Great, so our next topic is uh, Capybara theme. So what Capybara theme is? So, uh, uh, so as we discussed, storefront UI is a library. So uh, view storefront, uh, take this library and build their own theme on top of it. So, and name it as a capybara. So, uh, the, the, uh, if you're not about, if you, if you are new to a storefront, uh, view storefront, uh, I will recommend you to go and have a look at, uh, uh, view storefront. It is, uh, it is, it is one of the awesome framework. It's basically, it's a PW for any e commerce platform. Uh, so if you have any e commerce platform or, and want to have the PW for it, so, uh, I think the uh, view storefront could be the best solution for it. So, uh, so we will not cover very detail of the view storefront. Uh, if if you want to explore it uh, or visit this site, you'll get more details about it. So, uh, uh, what view storefront team done is they took the storefront UI and built their own theme for view storefront and name it as a capybara. So you can see uh, the demo of capybara theme is available here. So this is a beautiful theme. Uh, it's, it's working website available here. So you can see these are nothing but the whole atoms, molecule, and the components, and the pages which we have seen. Uh, so uh, view storefront team take this storefront UI as a base and build their own theme on top of it. And give name is a capybara. So it's an, it's a live example of how you can use the storefront UI library to build your own customized theme. So if you, if you would like to uh, get more details about the Capybara, you can visit the uh, uh, GitHub repository, github.com, Devante LTD, VSF-Capybara. You will have uh, a tons of reference and the details available here. So uh, this concludes our, our second topic, which is introduction to uh, the Capybara, which is the uh, live implementation of storefront UI. So 
if you have any questions uh, uh, i will be happy to answer and uh, and and yeah yeah and if if we are good we can we can conclude it Wait, uh, yeah, Mohamed, we're having one question. <laughs> what is the meaning of FIFA? <laughs> That's a nice question. Uh, uh, I also not uh, search for it. Uh, meaning of Capybara. Uh, uh, it's a South uh, American mammal. Yeah, but it could be different. So. <laughs> it could be a good question. We can uh, post it on. <laughs> if you like, you can post on our community uh, channel. But yeah, I also need an explorer on it. That's a good question. Why Capybara? <laughs> Great. So, okay. Uh, uh, so, Mohamed, uh, is there any, any 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 other question you would like to? Uh, I mean, uh, uh, was it the same question or? or You'd like to ask any other question? I see you just. I see. Okay, so, kept so capybara is whole view storefront framework with a new theme, right? No, uh, basically the uh, the framework is a view storefront framework, right? It's a view store framework which is a PW for e-commerce. You can uh, you can say it's whole whole completely new framework which supports the uh, PWA. And, and, and obviously there are a lot of more uh, functionality as well. So that framework comes with a default theme, which, which, is, which is their default theme. Uh, if you go to here, so let me show you. Demo lot, Io. So basically this is the uh, storefront, view storefront with their default theme. So what the team has decided is, uh, since you can see it's it's uh, it's it's a nicer uh, UI. It's still, there are scope of improvement in all, uh, all the UX and UI. So what the storefront uh, view storefront team done is, they take the storefront uh, uh, UI library, uh, storefront uh, uh, UI library, and build their own theme uh, uh, on the top of it, and then plug that theme in their in their uh, in their framework, so uh, uh, yeah, so so you can see uh, as Deepak shared this link, uh, it's 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 very useful link uh, how they have created the Capybara store, storefront UI theme. So uh, View Storefront is independent whole framework which has the capability to insert your own customized theme. So uh, you can uh, you can use your own theme in it. So. What they have done is they develop their uh, entirely new theme and just plug it into the view storefront framework. And this is how, how it's worked. So uh, did I answer your question or would you like some more light on it? Uh, I mean, views, yeah, great, cool, uh, great, great, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Mohamed, thank you, Deepak. So, great, so, Right. So, are we are we good to conclude the session? Uh, great. So, thank you so much, everyone, for joining. Uh, it's really great to have you all. And uh, uh, if you have any question, feel free to uh, ask on the the channels which we have discussed. Uh, the storefront UI community would like to will be really happy to welcome you all. Thank you so much.